Hey, it's Kim. Thanks for joining me for today's video where I'm going to be setting up for the month of November. We are only midway through October at the moment. However, I just want to set up November. <laughs> so I'm ready to set up November. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I actually, I'll save this here. This is my little sticky note of dates and important reminders for the month that I want to make sure get transferred over to my calendar. And then these are just some page flags that I use to remind me of certain things that I might do on a monthly basis or quarterly or whatever. And I'll just put them on a specific month to remind myself to do them. So I'm just going to move these all to the side. And what I did do already, I did this just yesterday as a matter of fact I swatched out um, the things I'm going to be using for November so as usual I will be using the monthly kit from sterling ink and do I want to take this book out of here hmm I don't think I need to so I'll be using the monthly kit from sterling ink and these are the colors of all the stickers that come in that set so what I did go ahead and do is just pull out some washi tapes that I think will go nicely with the set and also swatched a few markers and things that I have over here. It's like a million of them. <laughs> so I'm not sure exactly which washi tapes we'll use, which markers we'll use, but these are the ones I'm going to pull from to set up the monthly, to also set up the collection pages that I'll have back here in my note section and we may do a week or two we may set up a week or two in advance so i'll take you through that with me so because we are only mid october and i like to set aside a few pages for my dailies um i do have to kind of count to see maybe like how many notes pages i'm going to need between now and the beginning of november so i counted out i think like 12 pages i don't even know how many but this is what we're gonna do. It's a guess and all the dailies will fit in between these pages because I'm going to force them to fit. But no, really, I did account to have most of the days be a full page daily and I really haven't been doing that a lot. So I assume that will make it so that all the dailies will fit in here and I may have one or two extra pages for other notes before the start of November. So this is where I'm going to start November and this is on a weekend so because it's the Hobonichi it has the darker colors up there. So I'm going to pull out my white out to just white that area out um, so that they don't interfere with whatever I choose to put on these pages and I'm doing a, doing a terrible job <laughs> as usual but anyway. All right, uh, I'll do this page as well. And we are nearing the end of my cut down Hobonichi Cousin. It's coming to an end, but I am glad to see that I have definitely enough notes pages in here to uh last until the end of the year also something i was thinking about not too long ago is the fact that this will be the first time i have ever used a hobonichi cousin from front to back i've never done that before i have purchased several hobonichi cousins over the years and this will be the first one i've used from front to back so for me that definitely makes it worth it to have cut it down into a size that I find fits my lifestyle and fits my planning style the best. So I'm happy about that. So here is the November kit from Sterling Inc. And I'll just pull out all of the pieces and parts that came with it. It's a really beautiful kit. You can see that's the um, vellum that came. There are two sheets of that. I think they're a little bit different. One has like the burgundy-ish flowers and the other one does not. But that's pretty much what you got. And then here are all of the stickers and over here is going to go the mini calendar page. But here are all the stickers and the washi that comes in the kit. 
So I'll set these aside to use when we get started on those pages. Um, like I said, this is where the calendar page is going to go. And I just will put this here so that after I'm done filling out the monthly, I know where to turn back to in my notes pages to start on the collection for November. So let's get to the monthly for November. <clears throat> All right. So looking at it, um, there is no spot up here to put the label for November since the first starts on a Tuesday. So I'm going to put the label for November somewhere down here at the bottom. And this should be in here. So yeah, we have that die cut sticker, the mini calendar, and then the labels for the month. So I will have to put this down at the bottom. It's not the end of the world, but um, I prefer, of course, to just have the month label up at the top. It's just what's normal. But there have been a few months where I have had to put it down at the bottom because it just didn't fit up at the top because of how the calendar is laid out. So we're going to put this down at the bottom. And I do think I want to do, I want to use this wide washi down at the bottom as well. I'm feeling like I want to make it a thing. Normally I wouldn't do that. Um, I've only done that a handful of times this year. And I normally wouldn't like to use all of the larger pieces of washi, but this is really pretty. So I'm just going to put these along the bottom. Um, these two thicker pieces that I have here and reserve the others for other places. Um, but I'm thinking that maybe I want to do this in conjunction with some of the other washi that I pulled out in my little swatch page here. So maybe I'll use this in conjunction with some of the solid or even the grid washi. I actually like these two. So how will I do that? Let's let's see. So I'll put these, pull these out. So this I know came from a set from Amazon. I think this did too. So I'll put these two out and I'm going to use those in conjunction with this wider washi strip. And I think what I want to do before I turn this page is just put this on the side or better yet on the bottom so that in this position it's just easier for me to turn to when I need to flip back here and look at the colors. All right. So we got these two washies and we've got these washi strips that came with the kit and the label. So let's start playing. Oh, another thing I like to do before I really get into it is just to make sure, like I'm checking the calendar on my phone to see if I have anything going on in these last days of the month just to make sure in case I have some stickers that might cover this area and I do not I don't have anything on the 28th 29th or the 30th so that is very convenient I actually don't have a lot going on the whole month also very nice it's a lot of birthdays but no major appointments happening so that's cool oh then I have this stuff here Okay, so still we're good to put these down here at the bottom. So the thing that is causing me a little bit of hesitation is, like I said, I want to use this washi. Um, but what I don't want to happen is I don't want to cover up too much of this pretty washi. So how do we kind of overlap it? Maybe like that. think I'll figure it out but I really want to make sure that large flower right there is in the frame in the frame why do I say in the frame I just want to make sure it is on the page and has like a prominent spot because it is so pretty so I'll just mark where I'm gonna cut this one here and then 
I'll put this one over on this side. But what I'm thinking is because the November label is gonna go up here, um, I may layer the other washies over top of this. But I don't wanna cover any of those other flowers. So let's see, so this is going that way. And then we can put this here. I would prefer it to cover like, you know, this portion of the washi where you don't see a whole lot of stuff. Let me make sure I'm in the frame. But if I flip it this way, then I'm covering up that flower. I will figure that out when we get to that part. In the meantime, let's start. cutting the washi where I uh, marked it and put that down on this side. When I first saw this kit, when I pulled it out of the envelope, I was thinking, oh, you know, it's very similar to the October kit, but it's really not. October was... Um, like these fall and autumn colors of course but this one is much different it has the added flair with the newspaper look behind the florals so i think that's really pretty and it actually has a lot of foiling this month going on as well so that's nice to see all right so this one i don't want that same flower there we'll flip this this way I think I don't know I think I'll do it I'll just do it this way so from there to about there wait where did I just <laughs> where did I just mark oh there okay so I'll cut this here And we'll put this down. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's probably a little uneven, but that is okay. Okay, okay. All right, so that's nice for that border. And then the November sticker will go here. There's going to be some of this, these two washies in there as well. But I want to see if there are some larger stickers that I might want to put up here at the top or over on the side next to the November label. Let's see. Oh, these are pretty. These are like the edge stickers. I don't think I'm gonna use that. I don't have anything going on on the first, so it might be nice to put something here that kind of leans over into the first there. All right, so I don't know which one I might use for that yet. Until I decide, let's start putting down some washi. I do think using, oh, I can't get this up. I do think using the torn edges of the washi would look really nice. Cause it goes with the whole newspaper vibe. We'll do that and then there's my little card to cut the washi so that's that and then I have this one and as I was just putting down like this mustard color grid washi I was trying to think of where I'd like to layer this one if I want to put it like right there right there I think here is pretty good As you know, if you watch any of my Plan With Me videos, I just wing it. I don't really do a whole lot of planning beforehand. I kind of wish this was a little shorter than it is. Let's do that. That works. I just kind of wing it. <laughs> I put things down wherever I think they will look the best. So here's the November label. Um, because it is transparent, it might be a little bit hard to see on top of that washi background. So, 
I might put it right up on top, like right above the washi. I think I do like that. Um, I also do think, like I said, I would want some other something to go down here as well. One of these other stickers to go down here as well. And once again, I always tell myself, this will be the perfect time to use, you know, tweezers to put these stickers down. And I never pick up tweezers to put the stickers down. But that one didn't go so bad. That was actually pretty good. Um, so I don't want to use any of these stickers because they look too similar to this. So I'm thinking these other icons where we have some coffee, we have tea, uh, like a cutting board. Not feeling that. But we do have more coffee there. I like the small coffee. Can I put that there? Yep, I think so. Let's put the small coffee right there. It's kind of cute. All right. So there's that. And then looking at my, at the swatches that I pulled out, since I've gone with this mustard and this, like burgundy kind of color I'm trying to see what markers I would use to note things that are going on for the month I do have oh let me see so I do have these icons from cloth and paper where are they this color but it goes with this uh, washi a little bit let's see do I want that maybe I do like this mustard kind of marker that I have here also because the way that I use my monthly is as the month goes on things get filled in like appointments and stuff so I'm trying to think ahead of time which markers I'll use to fill in those appointments I don't really want to use those dot stickers and I don't know why so let's just go with my first instinct of not wanting to use a dot sticker. Or should I just do it, break out of my shell, and do something I'm <laughs> not used to doing? Let's do it. Okay, let me go pull those out. Okay, so I have these in this little booklet and it would help if I remembered what color those dots even were. Not that. Oh, it's these. Okay, Mademoiselle, Mademoiselle dots. And I only have dots and drops. I don't think I have. I don't think I have any other shapes in this color. Nope, just dots and drops. So I'll use the dots. And what am I gonna note with these dots? So FYI, just during the month, I'll keep these with my stickers right here in the back pocket so that if anything does come up and I need to mark it down on the monthly, I will have these dots available so that everything just stays consistent. So I do know my sister's birthday is on the 27th and um, I didn't split that day yet. So duh, we'll do that. But I'll mark that here. And then... Let me see. Other sister's birthday is here on the 4th. Election day is on the 8th. I should mark that with some kind of other icon. Let's do like this. These berries. So election day is on the 8th. Veterans Day is on the 11th. I have that little sticker from the planner spot. Um, there's another birthday. No, I was gonna put it, mm, no, I'm not. Okay, so Thanksgiving is on the 24th. I have that, again, that holiday sticker from the planner spot. 25th is Black Friday. And that's it, okay. So those are the only things I have to even mark with a little icon. So that makes 
life a bit easier. Um, I am off from work all this week. That's what I need to do. I need to be looking at my work calendar as well. Where is it? It's here. And my work calendar, I'm just really looking at for days off. That's pretty much it. So yeah, I'm off for this week. Of course, I'm off here because the office is closed. But I'm off on these days. So how do I want to note that? I feel like every month I do something a little bit different to signify time off or appointments or whatever. I don't really have just a stringent you know, plan of how I'm going to mark those things or a way to do it with icons or anything just because plans change and <laughs> I like to switch it up. So I'll likely mark that with a marker of some sort. I don't know, I keep flipping back. Am I making you dizzy? I hope not. Um, I just don't know which marker just yet. Okay, so until I figure that in, figure that out, I should say, let me write a few things in. I'll go ahead and split the weekends since I cut off Saturdays I have to split this box for the weekend which has not turned out to be a problem for me all year since I don't necessarily fill these days with a whole lot of stuff um, this works for my monthly And half the time I actually forget to even write in what the actual number date is <laughs> on those dates. So it's working just fine. Alright, so that's that. Um, I could put like a nice little icon on Thanksgiving. And maybe one there. To sort of break it up a little bit. My only hesitation is the fact that this will be so close to this. You know, like I want to spread out the deco and spread out all the colors and everything. So I think I might want to do one of these border kind of stickers. Yeah, I'm going to do this one. I just want to bring some more. I'm going to just rip the top of the sticker. Good going, Kimberly. Okay, I just want to bring some more color to the top of the page up here. And like I said, I don't really have anything going on on the first so it's okay if it moves over into there and I ripped the sticker accidentally and try and put it down and it's not down <laughs> it's very crooked and then this little one I would like to bring more of that color in so maybe that's the sticker that I, not the sticker, the marker that I should use. Hmm, that is probably a good idea. And then a lot of times, especially if I don't have anything going on in the middle of the week, I actually will put some kind of sticker maybe between the days just to bring in a lot more color and a lot more something. But it's usually hard for me to decide which sticker I'm going to use because I don't want it to take away from whatever ones I choose to use during my weeks as the weeks fill up. So it tends to be a little bit hard deciding which stickers to put in there. Like this one's very long, this one's long, that one's long. This one's not too long, but I don't want those for that. This one's not bad. Where would I put it? No. 
Let's see. Not coffee. Mm, the cutting board one? Maybe. Yeah, let's do that one. Because I feel like I'm not going to use it anyplace else. So just put it on the monthly. Maybe it might have made more sense to put it on Thanksgiving because, you know, food, cutting boards, kitchen stuff. All right. I do wish I had a larger something that was that mustardy kind of color. So I have this one. I'm going to use this. Not think about it too much. Just put it down somewhere. So I'll put this where? There. I'm trying to place it so that it doesn't cover up the Thanksgiving sticker that I already have there, but yeah. Okay. So that's not looking too bad and I'm pretty happy with how all of this is laid out. I did not put any kind of icon up here near Veterans Day, but that's fine. So I'm going to leave it at this for now and then it's likely I may come back in and fill in, you know, more stickers throughout the month. We'll see. But for now, that's where we're going to leave that. So the monthly overview is done. Now let's go on to do the monthly collection. So that consists of my tracker on this side, my one line a day here, and my monthly task list right there. So I'll get started piecing all of that together. All right, so a large part of what happens on this spread is I can kind of go heavy with the deco down at the bottom. So that's when I like to bring in or utilize these larger scene stickers that come in the kits. And these really are so pretty. Um, I'm really feeling this one. Sometimes I'll use the die cut sticker down here as well. Actually, that one's not bad at all either. Hmm. Between that one or that one. And I guess the downside is the fact that I will need to put some kind of washi over here to cover this side up. So let's think about what washi might complement that. I don't want to do the black or do I want to do the black? I think I want to do the black and I actually think it might be cool to go from here to over here and then use some kind of something else to cover that up there so my tracker is going to be here so I don't have a lot of space to do much over on this side maybe like a large floral I think that would be cool or I could bring the washi all the way over. No, I will not like that. Okay, so let's do the black and white grid along with. No more grid, please. Along with what? The floral? I'm not a huge fan of that. I have like a black and white, what else? I have polka dots, I don't want polka dots. I like the newspaper vibes that we have going on there. Love that mix with the black and white. I don't know, but let's just do it. All right. <clears throat> so I'm gonna put this here and just barely covering the writing that's down there and I'll cut this right in the middle just giving the illusion that it's going all the way across and then I'll continue this over here 
Now I guess my question was, is, how far over am I going? I don't want to go that far. So I'm going to leave it like that. Let's see. I don't know. I don't know where this is going. So I would like to use the color over, over top of that. I don't think I want it to be this one though. Oh, what about this? Yeah. Let's use it. This one's kind of like a light olive type of color. Maybe it won't be so bad. Oops. Not terrible. Could be better. But I always think that. I always feel like in the moment while I'm doing it, I, I pretty much hate it. <laughs> But then, after a while, it kind of grows on me. So that's going there. Let me just stick this down before I change my mind. And... I like it. I really do like the black and white grid. I really do feel like there's some other color that is missing from here somewhere, but I will figure out what that is soon enough. And I would like to do something here, but I'll wait until I fill in the tracker. So I'm going to go quickly off screen, do that, and I'll be right back. All right, so off camera, I went ahead and filled out my tracker. I also did my dates, 1 through 30, for my one line a day. I have not yet put headers on either page. Normally, I like to use whatever marker I'm choosing for the month. Um, and I still, for some strange reason, can't figure out which one I want to use. Um, it's really between 027, which is this one and 947. 947 is saddle. I can't remember what 027 is. Maybe like dark ochre. Something like that. But I'm thinking those are the two that I would like to use. This ochre color complements this a little bit better. And maybe I can use both. So let's see. I'm going to go in with the ochre and this is in my way. So and I'll just mark right there. And right here is where, where I will write tracker. And then when I track my energy levels, I'll use the same marker to mark it there. And then my one line a day, I can just write in with this marker. Right? Yeah. It's not that serious. Good enough okay and then the next page actually before I forget I'm just gonna write tracker right here because I will forget oh also I need to put something here some kind of deco which I still have not yet determined so I'll leave that blank for now until I can think of something else to put there so now we'll move on to my what do you call it? Task list. So my November task list. And here is where I would use the other November label as well as some kind of large deco item. I might do this one here. Yeah, let's do that one there. And do I want washi with it? Yes, I do. Okay, let's just do this one. Um, hmm. Thinking 
too hard about this. Okay, so, <laughs> so let's do this washi. And then we can layer it with this rust color grid. Is it rust? I don't know what I call this color. Just layer that. Part of me wishes this was a little thinner. Um, and I would sometimes just cut it down, like slice it in half. But no need. And then I'll put this. We can't even see most of the washi. <laughs> so that's fine. And it does overhang just a little bit, so I'm going to cut this little edge off. Alright, so this is going to be my task list. And up at the top, I will add in some more deco. Normally, I would put some of the, maybe like a washi strip or a long piece that comes in the kit. We have this one that one's actually not bad and then we also have this one which I don't want to use here I feel like I want to save it for maybe like one of my weeklies I do have this leftover one but I don't love it with this it's not bad it's just not love I'm leaning more towards this one Alright, let's go for it. I'm putting it kind of upside down so that I can put the November sticker right above it. So the two can kind of overlap each other. I like how that's looking and I may or may not write task list there I mean I know what it is <laughs> and anyone who looked at it especially after I wrote in I've written in all of the tasks would know what it is um, so what I do like to do is choose which marker I'll use to kind of do my little dots or my little dashes for the items that are going on the task list and that's it and if you've seen my plan a new month video that came out a couple of weeks ago I explain how I choose the items that go on the monthly task list so you can check that video out and I'll link it for you down below if you want to see exactly how I do that so for right now, I'm going to call these November collection pages done. Even though I don't have anything over here, I just didn't want to make it deco heavy. And this doesn't really bother me so much, seeing the um, Japanese written on the page there. So I'm going to call the collection pages done. And now we'll go into the weeklies. So here's the first full week of November and it starts out with October 31st as the Monday for that week. Um, so what I'm going to do is just lay out my framework and my framework consists of um, having a spot for my daily priorities up at the top, having the spot for my workouts and then the timetable that is usually my work hours. And then right under there, there's a spot for the dinners that we have for the day. And at the very bottom, my list of things that I need to do, maybe tasks or cleaning or errands or anything else I deem important enough to put on a list for the week. 
So right now I'm going to choose which washi I want to use. So I know for sure I want to use these washi strips up at the top. I like to go in with the colors of the kit. Like I, I like to go in strong, going hard <laughs> for the start of the month. So I'll mark that one there. And then this one, let's just go right across. I'm just marking the length of the stickers. Why does this one look longer? Oh, it's not. It's just in my head. Okay, so I'm marking the length of the stickers and where I'm going to cut them. All right, so we have this one here, which is gonna go on the left side of the weekly. And I don't get caught up in um, covering up the days or the dates. I don't care because you know, we're all smart enough to figure out that every week before this started as a Monday and then this week is gonna be a Monday as well. So it's okay if I cover up the labels as well as um, the actual number dates. All right, so this is gonna go over here and I'm kind of at an angle, so I'm hoping I'm doing this straight, but really, for me it's good enough and then around the eight o'clock mark is where I do fill in my workout so I have enough space between here and the eight o'clock mark to put my priorities for the day and before I put that in I want to put in my bottom washi as my husband is texting me about buying mums for the front porch okay so I'm gonna put in my bottom washi and I will not use one from the kit just because I'm trying to stretch out, you know, the use of the kit as much as possible. I think I might go in with this one. Yeah, I'm liking this mustardy colored one. The grid washi. I feel like I'm doing so much grid, but that's okay. And I put this under 7 o'clock, under 7 p.m. because I will normally fill in our dinners at 6 p.m. So that's going to go there. And then we'll put this one on that side. Since I've been doing this for a while, it's pretty easy. It's just, you know, the same format for each week. I just have to pick which colors I want to complement what. And that's cool. I also would like to put some kind of deco over in the corner. I do wish there were maybe larger florals in this kit that weren't long. You know, like a group of florals. The larger stickers are more so the scenes but I'm not feeling that for this week. And I know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna save this large sticker, or in my brain, I think I'm saving this for something special, and then I'm just not gonna use it. <laughs> it won't get used anywhere in here. Maybe I'll do this. Let's just put that there. Sometimes these ends of the washi don't really have a place, so they sometimes don't really get used anywhere. So I'll put that there, and I feel like I could layer something else on top of that, but I would prefer if I layered something that wasn't transparent, you know? So I'm gonna leave that like that like this for now and then I will put in my lines so I'm thinking for this week I'm gonna use there's a mild liner in beige that seems like it will go well with this and that's exactly what I'm gonna use so that is this one. Um, I think it's just called Mild Beige. So like I said, at the eight o'clock mark, 
is where I'm going to enter that. And the thing I've noticed with mild liners on the Tomoe River paper is that when you write over it, I think it makes whatever ink you're using, especially if you're using fountain pen ink, it makes it look darker or bolder, which takes some getting used to. Um, I don't like it <laughs> at all. I don't think I will get used to it or like it, but it's something that I noticed and it's fine. I mean, I'm, I'm living with it. So if you don't know, I do split Saturday and Sunday in this one last column. I thought about stacking them, but I do not like a stacked weekend. Um, I don't fill a lot of things in on Saturdays and Sundays, but still, I don't know. For whatever reason, my brain would not like a stacked weekend. So I don't do that. Next, I'm gonna go in and make a spot for our dinners. So I would not use the same marker, again, to make um, like the shaded areas like I did up there, but I will use this to just draw some lines across. I'll show you what I mean. So I'll just use this and use the pointed end of the mild liner to draw oops, to designate the area where I'm going to write in our dinners. It's going to be right underneath this line. So I do that going all the way across for all the days. And again, this last column is split between Saturday and Sunday. And that's that. And what I'm going to do, because I don't want any more of this color, sometimes I'm weird like that, but I'll just use this fine point, it's a 01, um, what are these called, micron, and I'll just make this line all the way down to split up Saturday and Sunday. So this is my framework for the first week of November. And like I said, my daily priorities will be up here at the top. Um, and I'll just note them similar to this. And then the next section is where I'm gonna write in my workouts. And then this is my timetable where I will plug in any meetings or appointments or anything that I have going on during the day. And then down here at the bottom, would back, back. And then down here at the bottom will be and then down here at the bottom will be dinners and then I'll have my task list and any cleaning list my Bible reading plan those will all go down here at the very bottom and up at the top I will normally mark what month it is and what week of the year so I'll do that when I get to this page I guess what I could do though right now is just use the mild liner to mark where I would enter that <laughs> so that would go right up there and then I am going to start on the next week so let's do the next week and I think what I want to do is make it look a little bit different from what we've got going on maybe I'll use Either that floral washi or this like news type washi. I guess the only issue with it is that these are thicker washies, so I do feel like I need to split them in half. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go with the floral, split it in half, and I think I'm gonna layer it with this color. Okay, so taking this one, I was trying to think if I want to put this up at the top or at the bottom, and I think I want to do it at the top. So I'll just kind of measure it roughly, that length, and then split it roughly also <laughs> down the middle as evenly as I can, but it's never very even and one will be used for the left and one will be used for the right. I feel like this one is a little bit thicker than the other one but it's all good. 
and I'm going to put this one down a little bit because I will layer that maroon or burgundy color washi up above this one. So I'll put this one down there and I don't even know if those are even. I put this one a little crooked. I'm trying to do this from an angle. So it's not perfect. And next, like I said, I'll follow up with the maroon or burgundy color washi right above that. And I call that good enough. I do wish I had put the floral washi on top of the maroon washi. But we're here. <laughs> what I'm going to do to fix that, I will probably use some of these smaller like floral stickers and just layer them over the top so it doesn't bug me as much. So that's that. And then down here at the bottom, um, I'd like to use some of these stickers that combine all of the colors. Um, like the blacks and the whites and the uh, maroon so that's what I'm going to do but I'm trying to think right now which marker I would use and just like I feel like there's not enough um, blue markers available <laughs> and really good blue shades I feel like I need to like look at Crayola markers or something but there's definitely like a gap in the Tombow markers that are offered in terms of like the colors. I don't feel like there are a lot of good blues and there are not a lot of good dark uh, maroon or burgundy-ish colors either. I think I have the darkest one. It's called Port Red. If I don't, let me know. Let me know what I'm missing. If there's one that I don't have that you think would work well with this. But anyway, um, so I'm trying to think ahead of, and consider which markers I'm going to use. I think I want to use Saddle or is it Burnt Sienna? It might be Burnt Sienna 947. I don't know what it is, but it's Tombow 947. So that's the one I know that I want to use to make my lines and everything, which means I do need to make sure I pull in some of the stickers that combine all of that. So. Hmm. I'm a little bit stuck. I'm a little bit stuck. I might go with, this is a bold, this is a bold risk. I might go with N79, which is like a light warm gray. I think I'm just going to do it. Think about it later. So I'm going to go with the N79 and use that where I would put, oh, that's terribly uneven, um, where I would put our meals. That's not bad. I feel like I have to just pull it all together. Because these are, you know, similar colors that are in the stickers for the kit. Um, I just got to make it work. Like I said, I wanted to use the Burnt Sienna color, but I need more of that showing on the page somehow. And the way to do that might be to use one of these longer stickers. Yep, I think that's exactly what I want to do. So... This longer sticker goes top to bottom. I'm just trying to think of the best day to put it on where I don't have a whole lot going on. Um, I know I have a standing meeting on a Monday and a Tuesday. Right now, I don't have anything on the monthly on those days. That is election day, but that's fine. Um, just trying to think of like where it will overlap the most. Like, What if I did one down here and then one over here I don't think I would like that but I am going to just go with the one over on the left between Monday and Tuesday and this is already just giving me a little bit of anxiety because I feel like I'm not going to place it down straight I'm not probably not going to happen 
and there you go I'm covering the entire Monday wasn't my plan <laughs> but it is what it is so that's there I do like how this brings in more of that burnt sienna kind of color but I must agree now that unless I bring in a lot more of it, it's not, I think it's going to look weird. I think it's going to look weird if I try and use that Tombow over here with all of the other colors that are happening. So, all right, so this is you witnessing my process or lack thereof. There really isn't much of a process. I'm gonna take this sticker and put it right between Thursday and Friday up by where I know the workout is gonna be. So sometimes this is what I'll do. Before I go in and put my little borders or lines, I'll put the stickers down first because I know I'm going to overlap um, or I know the stickers would normally overlap wherever I place the, um, the marker so I'll do the stickers first so that I can do the marker around the stickers I hope that made some kind of sense so that's that I still am not seeing where I can bring in this burnt sienna but I am determined I was thinking maybe I could do like the little borders I'm gonna go for it so what I'm gonna do is the inverse of what I did this week so I'll just do the lines up at the top since I already have the shading down at the bottom. And yes, they are two different colors. And as I'm doing this, I'm wondering if I will want to do these lines around the dinner section too. I'm also wondering if I'm going to think that this is just way too much color by the time I get to this week, probably. Probably, but it is what it is. We're here now. We are committed. We are going to do it. We're going to make it work and it's just going to work. So here's where we are. Okay. That's that. Um, do I want to put this down here? Should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I? I'm gonna not for the time being um, and maybe when I get to this week we'll see but if you have a vote of where I should put this or if I should use this to make a border around the top and bottom of the section where I will put the dinners let me know I really can't decide but I know that I want to bring in more of this Tombow 947 into this spread yeah let me know what you think all right, so that's that. And then do I wanna do any deco down at the bottom? Maybe one of the bottom corners? Um, nope, I don't want that. See, like I said, I feel like I'm missing a larger floral arrangement, like a full floral arrangement that has like all of these colors as well as the background in it. I don't have one. I don't want to use that. I already know. Okay, so I'm going to leave this here. And the fear that I will like put too much down on the page and I'm going to hate it. I like this sticker here. And I would consider putting this one on this page, but I'm not going to do it right now. So we'll see. All right, I'm just gonna call it done. We're gonna call it done. And let's go from the top. Okay, so here is the monthly spread that I decorated and I filled in a few birthdays. I have nothing else going on. No appointments or notable things that I need to add as of yet. This is Thanksgiving. Oh, I did wanna denote that I'm gonna be off. And I feel like I just need to do that with a marker. Okay, let me do that. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I couldn't figure out which marker to use. 
I'm making this a lot harder than I need to. I'm just going to use this one. And uh, just fix it if it annoys me. All right. Not too bad. Not too bad. So this is the monthly spread as it stands right now. There will be, like I said, things I fill in, notes that I'm going to make to myself, um, something I need to remember or other appointments that will come up as the month goes on. But for right now, this is what the monthly overview for November is looking like. And then this is the first full week of November. My timeline framework is plotted out and ready to get started for the month and this is for the first full week of November and then this is for the second week of November and this one I feel like is a work in progress I don't know what's gonna happen I don't know <laughs> how I'm gonna pull it together if I'm gonna pull it together um, but I'm just thinking right now as I'm looking at this that I want to put this little sticker kind of in there so like I said break up what I'm not liking about that washi up at the top and just to add a little bit more color. So we'll see where this takes us. Only time will tell. And then back here I have my section for November. And what I'm realizing now that I forgot to do is to put my little page flag down here. And I will, once I'm in a better position, line it up so that it's even with or not even but it lines up next to october that wasn't too bad okay so this is my um collection pages these are my collection pages for the month of november my tracker is ready i will probably add some deco somewhere and then my one line a day spread is ready and my november task list is ready so i'm all set up and in a good place to get the month of November started. Thank you so much for following today on my video setting up for the month of November. Um, if you have any questions about anything I use, anything I mentioned, feel free to leave those down below and I'll be sure to link anything that I mentioned as long as I don't forget to. <laughs> but if I do forget, feel free to ask me in the comments below. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.